fucking Christmas. I am the great and terrible necromage, and I'm coming off of what some people would call a three-day bender. But I promised that I would stop the Rinchesar and save Christmas, so here I am, selflessly giving, selflessly giving of my time and health and sanity for you, my beloved audience, and all the strangers who are here for the first time, because I just linked like every Discord server I'm in. I curse here. I have a lot of things planned. I have a lot more things not planned at all, but that's okay. We're going to have a good day. It's going to be a good Christmas morning. This is hot chocolate because it's Christmas, and if you don't drink hot chocolate on Christmas, you're basically the devil. That's what my preacher told me. He died of diabetes. So very tired. So, this is my Christmas. Oh God, I forgot to plug in the Christmas tree. I'm tired of Christmas. Oh God. Is that completely washing out the image? Mm, no, this is a good dichotomy. I like this. Now I'm in the I'm in total darkness, and the tree is very bright. I normally have multicolored lights on the Christmas tree, but I remembered who was president. So I decided to play it safe. I can't read the Twitch chat from here. Okay. So, everyone who's currently watching gets to decide what we do first. Should I immediately start playing video games? Or should I do one of my many tree festivities? This is this is the time for democracy. Also, is there any terrible is there any terrible audio bugs or anything? I have to talk quieter when I'm up here because I'm much closer to the mic. Open the card. Yeah, sure, I'll open the card. You should um Dykins, there's the camera. <laughs> Tag Mike and Jessica in case they're awake at like 6 a.m. or whatever demon time it is in Alberta. So this is a card that I got in the mail from my good friends, Mike and Jessica, uh, who became parents this year. I'm super proud for them and happy. Uh, and I have no idea what's inside of it because Mike made it. So, I probably should have covered up the return address and my address, but that's okay. That's okay. If you send me a letter bomb, it'll only kill my roommates. Aww. Is there Babu? Is there miniature human? This is the opposite of what I expected. I expected some terrible thing that Mike made. Is this a sticker? I don't know if it's a sticker or a photograph. No, it's just a photo. Yeah, oh, it's their, it's their hell spawn. It's the thing that's been pooping on Mike for many years. In one year. It's the babu. That's terrible.
Oh, I get it. It's something terrible that Mike made. <laughs> That's awful. That's awful. Well, uh, let's just put this. I just leaned directly into the microphone while talking, which was a mistake. I apologize. I'm going to finish this hot chocolate, which will com commence the me welcoming you to the stream portion of the stream. I keep looking over here, but the camera's over here. I'm not... <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, I know that we have a lot of fun here, but uh, the idea that I know what I'm doing in any aspect of life is merely how good of an actor I truly am. I, I've tricked you all. Which is why I am the greatest showman on earth. I like that skull there. Repeat viewers who saw my last Christmas stream will recognize uh, the old Christmas noose, which I'm not wearing anymore because Nathan Parker is dead. <clears throat> so I'm going to hop over there to my computer machine which is powering this entire situation. I'm going to load up the long dark, and we're going to have some video games. I mean video games, because this is a Twitch stream, and that's what you do on Twitch streams. Uh, I'm also going to try to start up the Christmas music, because when you're freezing to death in the Canadian wilderness, Christmas music is a sure sign that you are dying of hypothermia or pneumonia. Okay, this is this is now using a different microphone, so it does it sound less terrible. The Canada Media Fund. I don't know if our tax dollars technically went into this game or not, but by God, they should have. Okay, so should I begin the story and go chapter by chapter with breaks of Christmas in between, or should I go survival mode, die in 15 minutes, and accomplish nothing? I'm also not sure if there's a delay on my- oh, there's not much of a delay at all. Okay then. I've not, I've, the last time I played this, there was no story mode. <clears throat> so, this is totally new to me. Do not go gentle. Mackenzie and Dr. Greenwood are separated after their plane crashes deep in the northern Canadian wilderness. Struggling to survive, Mackenzie explores the small town of Milton, where he begins to understand the scope of this quiet apocalypse. Uh, let's see. The players with some experience in those looking for a Alright, we can seek you out. Uh... 
I, 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 I don't think I'm capable, but that's okay. Story one. A Christmas story. Because it's fucking Christmas. God. Hear that? It's the sound of killing frost giants. This is strangely fitting. Oh dear. I have... I have already... I, I guess this is the story of Jesus! This is a Christmasier game than I thought. Look, this must be the Empire of Rome as it was burning down. And Nero played the Christmas fiddle. Ooh, I can't sprint. What is wrong with me? Give me a stick. Do, do I have any gear? Giving me credits. It's there's space lights and fire everywhere. Oh, I think I said a thing. Subtitles. There we go. Remember, if you ever crash in the Canadian North and you're surrounded by warm, flaming wreckage, the first thing to do is immediately step away from it so that you can have your core temperature apparently be instantly zero. Am I made out of sugar water? What the hell? Does this fire not generate heat? Am I freezing to death surrounded by flaming plane wreckage? Is that what is is that seriously what is happening? I I am standing in fire and yet my temperature is zero. I burned to death while suffering from a risk of hypothermia. Let's try this again. I was making a joke. Oh, I gotta stop that bleeding. How do I do that? Where do I, how do I make my HUD? They changed all the defaults. Um, backpack is I. Okay. Stop that bleeding. I know you're gonna bleed out soon. 
generally when you're going to bleed out soon, you don't uh, you don't announce it like that. Can I just use? I'm gonna bleed out soon. I know you're gonna bleed out soon. I don't have a sewing kit. Oh, wait, here we go. Okay. Maybe I. Maybe these are just a med kit lying around. First aid kit. Gonna bleed out soon. I know you're gonna bleed out soon. I know whenever I'm suffering from a traumatic hand injury, the first thing I do is calmly announce that I am going to die and then state where I am. Okay. That doesn't really matter, I'm going to bleed out soon. Oh, here we go. What? There's nothing? minutes and I'm dead I don't understand it doesn't give me any bandages but it makes me have a spike through my hand Pretty sure that this guy's bless is some sort of reinvigoration situation. Not or or it's an incarnate bless and my god didn't wake up. That's entirely possible. I'm gonna try starting this over because maybe you're supposed to have bandages and I just got some sort of ridiculously unlucky spawn. Or maybe you're supposed to bleed out with, like, I don't know, you have, like, 25 minutes. Am I Mackenzie? Have I been Mackenzie this entire time? Have I been living a lie? I, w I will not let this new world break me. I will break this new world. I am the world breaker. The world breaker, Doug McKenzie. Just an idiot. 
You have to hold the search button. Okay, then. Uh, use the fist. Mm. I am unsure how to do the radio menu. Space. Oh right, you don't jump in this game. Wait. Wait, I'm bleeding from my right foot? Why aren't I bleeding from my left hand? What are you, game? Other than silly. So why can't I take that cardboard box and break it down in this cave with... Okay. So... My temperature has stabilized at very low, despite being surrounded by fire over there. Because if it's so windy that it's going to keep me freezing to death, it should extinguish those little flames, or at least blow them. Uh, fire. I, I don't understand. I found shelter from the wind. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Acknowledge. There's 700 people on that train. I have to save them. sleep. It didn't teach me how to sleep. Which is what I was expecting. So thirsty. Gotta be a way to melt some snow. Gee, I wonder if fire can do that. <laughs> I might be stuck here a while. Better see what I can use. I'm going to assume that there's something like a water bottle or a contain a vessel of some sort to hold water that was covered by flames before, so I couldn't get it. Yeah, I, I know all you can think about is food, buddy. I'm gonna try to find you a soda. Take that. Take that. Military grade MRE. A. A. I know you're thirsty. God, you're like a a tiny baby. I can't drink. I could drink disinfectant. Yeah. That would be. Wise. Wait, do I have... I might have some... No, I don't. I don't have any water. 
Do I have a vessel in which to hold water? Do I have anything I can craft into a vessel? Will this give me a bottle? I don't know if that would give me... I don't really want to throw out an entire bottle of hydrogen peroxide just to get snow water. Because I don't think that that is the situation I find myself in. gotta be a way to melt snow. I can't even pick up snow. What do you mean I don't need these yet? How do I know that? How do I know what I need? Why can't I just take this plastic container and boil snow in that? Or melt snow in that, rather. Did you eat trees? Okay. Let's, let's eat this, buddy. It's not gonna fix the third, wait, no, why is it fixing the thirst thing? I can't make it down. Ears feel numb. Am I even supposed to leave this area or am I just supposed to figure out how to melt snow? Let's... Let's assess the situation. I might have to just use all that peroxide. Because <clears throat> if that gives me a bottle, then I could, in theory, melt snow in it, but that seems like a really janky way of doing it. The bottle's gone. The bottle is gone. Useless. Why? Why am I not wearing 
Okay, I, I wasn't wearing the sweater? You can also know how to produce water, but I don't think it'll learn a potable yet. If you have the fuel, it's better to boil after me. So wait, how can I... But how do I boil snow? It won't let me pick up snow. Oh my god, I'm so angry. I'm going to die. So angry, I'm going to die. Okay, let's start a fire. Let's melt some snow. Let's drink some snow. I don't know how I'm melting snow without a vessel to hold the water, but that's fine. I'm covered in antiseptic. I'm dying of thirst, but that's fine. What, real? What? Every Christmas, I just stare at fire. That did it. Let's do this. All that water. Yeah. I, but I, I used all my antiseptic. I can't even get through this stupid tutorial level. Oh, here we go. Yeah, okay, that that works. That didn't work. No, it doesn't work. Okay, let's go. Let's just go. We're we're done with this nonsense. We're going to go we're going to go have some Christmas fun. Christmas fun!
I have never once in my thousands of years of existing on this plane claimed to be a skilled virtual survivalist. That's just... That's just something that ain't me. I'm gonna read a Christmas story! I'm gonna read a Christmas story from this... This is a Christmas present I got several years ago, and I've never... I've never shared it with anyone. This is Holly Jolly Harmony. It is a level two passport to reading, which means I am literate now. Look out, world! And it includes ornaments, which... Right there! Is a Pinkie Pie. I don't know if you can see that. <clears throat> Welcome to the Passport to Read. A, beginner's reader, a beginning reader's ticket to a brand new world. I'm not actually going to read that entire spiel for teachers and parents. Oh, uh, this was printed in the United States of America because that country is a garbage fire. Who would print this type of dribble in a book? Holly Jolly Harmony. Adapted by D. Jacobs, based on the episode Hearth's Warming Eve, written by Meriwether Williams. <laughs> Attention, my little pony fans! Look for these items when you read this book. Can you spot them all? And no, not no, this is not happening. Here we go. So make sure you make sure you spot them all. Spot them all with me. The pony friends love the holiday called Hearts Warming Eve. It is a time of harmony and friendship. The ponies of Canterlot decorate each wreath and tree with stars, bells, and ribbons. The city looks so pretty. And look! Tiny horses, horsing about, smallly. Make America great again. Each year, the ponies and Spike put on a show. The ponies play different parts while Spike tells the story. He's not permitted to play a part because he's different and lesser. Once, there were three pony tribes, the, leader of the, the leaders of the Earth Ponies, the Pegasi, and the Unicorns were named Chancellor Puddinghead, Commander Hurricane, and Princess Platinum, because Earth Ponies are stupid and would listen to someone named Chancellor Puddinghead. Am I right, the UN? And look, he's... He's actually just a minstrel. This is terrible. What is... There's dark undertones to this in today's political climate. The Pegasi made the weather. The Earth Ponies grew the food. The Unicorns used magic to make day and night. And okay, so here you have... There's a Pegasus making the weather. Okay. Uh, and there, there are earth ponies toiling in the filthy mud where they belong. And then here is, here is a unicorn who is the most, like, that's a Disney villain. Like, she, she does not look great, and therefore she must be evil. This guy's expression. Well, let's get it. Look at him. He's just got disdain for everybody and everything. This was not a happy time. 
The three tribes did not get along. Then one day, a huge snowstorm stopped the crops from growing, because the Pegasus didn't do their job. If their job is to make the weather, why did they make a snowstorm? Every pony was running out of food. The three tribe leaders blamed one another. The meaner they were, the harder it snowed. So, so there they all are, freezing to death and dying of starvation. And, and there's the ponies arguing. And yeah, no, the, the, the pink one is, they're both right. It's the Pegasus's fault. Point to her, glare her across the table. It's the Pegasus's fault. They had one job. They literally had one job. Each leader decided to find a new land for her tribe. Private Pansy went with Commander Hurricane. Flying into the snowstorm was scary. Private Pansy is just a filthy... It's a terrible name. And look, there, there's, there's the Pegasus who ruined everything for everyone. And then there's... The unicorn princess, queen, ruler of all, as it should be, they control time, they control the sun, and um, there's an earth pony who doesn't know how to not dress in food because she's a mentally deficient lesser species who should be toiling in the fields. Uh, and that is... Uh, gratuitous and pointless scene of uh, lesbian fanfiction fuel. Princess Platinum was glad to leave the others. Do you agree? She asked Clover the Clever. We could have tried harder, Clover answered. Now see, that's... That is the face of racial purity. You're happy because all the mud ponies are gone. And those Pegasus who ruined everything, they literally, they caused the banking crisis, the housing crisis, they caused it all, they're gone too. You're, you're good. Smart Cookie and Chancellor Puddinghead kept getting lost. Puddinghead might have been using her map wrong. Degenerates. They they gas them all. They they just shouldn't be. Just shouldn't be. Can't even use a map. All they do is grow food. Food grows on its own. You plant it. If you have someone else controlling the weather, they're growing the food. You have you have earth ponies whose job is to pick the food. That's what it means. All the ponies found new homes for their tribes. I named this land Pegasopolis, said Hurricane. I am double dazzled by all these jewels, said Princess Platinum. I named this land Unicornia. There's a, there's a Pegasus with their stupid snowing out. They put... Oh, that's what it is. That is, those are stars. I thought for a second that she put snow on her flag just to symbolize that she ruined everything for everyone. And this is, uh, there's a flag with a unicorn on it, which actually looks like a real flag, because that's how you design a flag. Not with a, a face with wings. This dirt is the dirtiest. I named this land Dirtville, said a happy put said a happy pudding her. Eh. Said a happy pudding head. I'm I am a level two. I have a level two passport to reading. I'm the best at words. This dirt is the dirtiest. I named this land Dirtville, said a happy pudding head. How about we call it Earth? said Smart Cookie. How about we call it Dirtville and you know your goddamn role? 
smart cookie. But each tribe leader had chosen the same land. I planted my flag first. Did not. Did too, they argued. I mean, clearly the, the book just said that the Pegasus planted their flag first and should be righteously supplanted by the unicorns who have divine rule over all lands. Their dominion knows no bounds. They, they are the chosen people of the Lord. Also, what is that? That's, what is that flag? That is, that is garbage. There's no unicorns on that. It's a garbage flag for dirt-eating savages. And then here we go. Yeah, as you can see, the, the queen is looking down at the other two ponies, and she's going to just drop the sun on them. That's all that's going to happen. Unicorns control, they control the sun! Do you know who else controlled the sun? Ra! Do you know what the Egyptians worshipped? Ra! As the pony leaders yelled, snow and winds appeared. Oh no, said Hurricane, not again. I am so bad at my job, why can't I keep the snow away? Instead of beautiful, it was blizzardy. Instead of wonderful, it was wintry. Instead of spectacular, it was snowtacular. Frost Giants, am I right? Look at it. She's being blustery and full of herself, and she's going to get wrecked. Look, she knows she's going to get wrecked. She's like, I'm going to wreck you, and you're going to get wrecked. And then there's just snow. Snow, and it's washed out, and you can't really see it on the webcam. The ponies needed a safe place to hide from the storm. The only shelter was a cave. Earth ponies are fools, said Hurricanes. Said Hurricane. Unicorns are snobs, said Puddinghead. Pegasi are brutes, said Platinum. I mean, these are all true statements. But being a snob is, from the perspective of lesser beings, I, I, don't, I don't see the, I fail to see that being a, a detriment. Here they all are. In a cave. And here they all are. Fighting in a cave. Where, again, the, the, the Earth Pony and the Pegasus are yelling at each other because they are flawed. And they cannot sight a problem with the, the pure Snow White Unicorn. When the pony leaders called one another mean names, they were frozen in ice. The other ponies heard whales coming from outside the cave. It is a windigo, said Clover. A windigo is a winter spirit who feeds on hate. It froze our leaders. Now, look at that. It just reminds you of Walt Disney, doesn't it? And then there's the, there's the windigo. Remember at the beginning of the book when it suggested you... You look out for one of those? I think I found it. I think I found it in the book. I think it's right there. I do not hate you, said Pansy. Me neither, Clover agreed. It does not matter if we're different. We are all ponies, said Cookie. A pinkish purple heart burst from Clover's horn. It chased away the windigo. The ice began to melt. Unicorn! Clover was the unicorn? Her unicorn magic saved everyone. It does matter that they're different. Unicorns are the best. Look! Oh no! We're all sad, but we're worried, and we're sad, and we're fine, because we're a goddamn magical nexus beast with hooves and enormous eyes, and you control the sun. Look at that! Look at that Dragon Ball Z nonsense coming out of her head. And there's the big old, big old Sailor Moon looking, blow up the megaverse with your powers of love looking. Winter Blast. The 
This magic came from all three of us, said Clover. Bullshit, said me, an intellectual. We joined together in friendship. All three tribes became friends. They sang songs that became the winter carols every pony still sings today. I know... I know that... That is objectively false. There are definitely ponies that do not sing. Look at this. Look at this. See? See? The unicorn is talking to the other two, and they are pleased in subservience. They, they know their place now at the foot of the unicorn, and from there, they can happily make society work. And this is, again, the unicorns take center stage. They did all the work. Ponies have been kind to one another ever since. Together they named their new land Equestria, and that is the story of Heartswarming Eve. And then see, see, there's a little, there's a little stage play the whole time. It was like, it was like Super Mario Bros. Three. Yeah. Oh, and and here are the. Here are the ornaments. Here are the ornaments. I want you to I want you to notice something, okay? Unicorn. Unicorn. Pegasus. Chicken. There's no earth pony there. There's no earth ponies because earth ponies are the worst. And on the back it says Holly Jolly Holly Jolly. So what, what lessons, what lessons can we take away from My Little Pony Holly Jolly Harmony? I think, I feel that the, the authors were obviously in favor of racial segregation, um, the domination of superior races, over what can only be described as lesser races. Uh, they were not interested in creating uh, separate nations for each, clearly insisting that the races mix and be subservient slash dominant over each other, because when they, when they struck out to form their own nations, based on racial lines, uh, disaster struck. So clearly the natural order of things is that unicorns should be in charge of everything, and the pegasi and earth ponies should understand that the unicorns control space, they control celestial entities, they can shoot laser beams from their heads, they can fly, they could control the weather if they wanted to, they could grow the crops if they wanted to, without picking them with magic, and they should just be happy that they haven't been wiped out by, uh, Unicorn Hitler yet, really. And th there's nothing, there's nothing that will save them from Unicorn Hitler, other than other unicorns, and really, I have to ask why. Why bother? If, if reality is so objectively clear, if, if, the, if the laws governing your species are so tangibly present and not based on, you know, social constructs, but actual genetic predispositions to being able to move the sun, uh, I think that uh, you should probably act on those. I'm going to go back into the northern ways of Canada.
Okay. So this time, this time I am most definitely going to make it through the tutorial stage. I didn't know that I didn't need a container to melt snow. I thought, overthought that. That's right. I am both Bob and Doug McKenzie. We fused in the plane crash, eh? It is my Christmas promise to all of you watching that I will make it past the first level. Astrid! What kind of name is Astrid? I've never heard that. Ooh, there we go. I know that fire is good. Okay. Again, that was my right hand. It wasn't... Eight minutes, but I'm pretty sure it knocks me into cutscene. Just like it doesn't matter that how long the fire actually burns, it just knocks me into cutscene knockout. So I don't want to waste my log. Daylight? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. You know what? We're just gonna drink the unsafe water.
make sure it doesn't get infected. Okay. Sweet. Did it, did it apply? Oh, there we go. Oh, I don't feel so good. I need to rest out. Don't rest out here in the snow, you have a cave. Cardboard box. Woo, it's chilly. Cold. But I don't have enough fire to last the night. Give me the sticks. Start a fire. And then I'll use a bit of the initial heat I get from this fire to go out and break down some branches without freezing to death. Should, in theory, allow me to survive the first mission. It worked. to be actually gaining any core temperature. So let's just say screw it. Music got scary, so I'm leaving. Just take a tour. Here we go. Does this make my heat go down any slower? Nope. No, it doesn't.
See, I should be gaining some heat, shouldn't I? No texture there. Holy shit, that's hot. Okay, okay. I, 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 um, do I, do I apply bandits to burns? I don't think I do. I don't really have any, have anything else. Ugh. Stick your hand in the snow, you idiot. That crate had a bunch of books in it. Here we go. Still not get oh there we go. A tiny bit of heat. Did you really think that storm would never end, Mackenzie? Uh, 
Oh. So this is a hearing game. Gee, I wonder if the game designers want me to go up this way. Astrid's back. Well, Astrid's dead. Beard. Playing Klondike. Oh, they're playing Klondike. That's that's clever. Jack Rabbit Remote Transport. Mackenzie speaking. Well, well, slow down, Morgan. What are you talking about? It's okay, Maureen. I've got it from here. Uh. Hello, Will. What are you doing here? It's been a while, I know. Yeah. Years. I haven't heard from you since... I know. I know. And I wouldn't be here if it weren't important. Brings you. I mean, are you sick? <laughs> no, no, not me. But I need to get to someone who is. Yeah. So you're still a doctor? Yes, I'm still a doctor. Do you ever stop being a doctor? That after. <laughs> Why are you here? I need your help. There's an isolated community in the northern part of Great Bear. Someone there is very sick. Great and Bear? There's nothing there anymore. Not since... Th I know. But I have to get there. Still trying to save the world, huh? Somebody has to. What's that supposed to mean? Mackenzie... Uh, Will... I didn't come here to fight about the past. I need a pilot to take me somewhere remote. Someone who won't ask too many questions. Someone I can trust. Wait, questions? Astrid, are you in trouble? Are you gonna help me, or not? What's in the case? See, there's that thing about no questions, remember? What's in the case, Astrid? No questions. Look, the weather out there is bad. Bad, when it's getting worse. You walk in here after years. I could have been dead. You could have been. Then you show up and you want me to just risk my life flying in the middle of the great world of nowhere to deliver you in some mystery metal case to some remote wilderness outpost. All because you walked in here and asked me to? Yes. That's right. This isn't about that. I know how hard it's been. <laughs> you don't know me. You don't think I feel it too? Are you gonna take me or not? The longer I wait, the worse it'll get. Damn it. I don't have time for this. Wait. The worse what will get? Why do I have a feeling you're not talking about the weather? Because I'm not. Throw your bags in the plane. I'll get started on pre-flight. Better buckle up tight, because it's going to be a rough run. Is that code? I think that, I think that's code. Whatever's in this case, Aspen is going to die for it. Oh, hello! This car is 
could save my life. This doesn't look too good, but what choice do I have? Everything I eat can kill me. Back to the campfire with me. Give me the stick. Christmas like eating raw deer meat over a campfire started with birch bark. Yeah, you cooked that gave me venison. didn't boil any of the water. That's good to know. Clothing is armor against cold. Frozen? Ah! If I'd found that before.
grand. Give me the stick. me in the ways of fighting wolves. So I think I'm pretty close to succeeding. You can carry it. You can carry it because you're about to throw it all into a fire. I don't care that you have a sprained ankle. I've never felt so cold in my life. You felt colder than this yesterday. Okay, accelerant, sure, why not? Looks like it worked. Woof. Okay, so it told me that rose hips are a medicine, but it didn't 
have me use them. Deeper knowledge. That's the type of shit that makes you go crazy and worship Cthulhu. So, I'm guessing that I got all my afflictions healed. Now I'm not in the tutorial zone anymore. I can actually... I'm actually expected that I could fail now. Rather than me just being god-awful at this game. Gloves, man. Break down. Oh, don't think you're- don't say you're gonna make- even if you think you're gonna make it, don't say that out loud. You're a dead man. You just killed yourself. Oh, stop getting excited. This is Canada. There's a bear. Loaded up on painkillers. Wish I had a pot. No, I'm 
not working at the center anymore. Well, then where? I'm working on my own. Freelance, you could say. Freelance doctor? That sounds legit. I don't question your life choices, Mackenzie. Plenty of things you could be doing besides hanging out in your dad's old plane and drinking in the daytime. Hey, we had a lot of good times in this plane. And it's under control. I know, okay? Look, I'm not here to fight, really. What's wrong with daytime drinking? Tutorial mission. Give me the stick. Did you hear that Christmas triumph? Sun rabbits and good thing you can throw them If you can kill it, you can eat it. Small stones. Okay. rabbits right now. Hey, campfire. I 
sure if he uses accelerant. Oh well. frozen. I'll drop that. This is frozen. I'll drop that. Yeah, these should be... Yep, they're thawing. Perfect. Now, I will hit you, rabbit. use a cattail stock is. Oh, I can eat it. Windy to start a fire. Oh god. Okay, uh, let's pick these up. I mean, I guess I don't need to throw rocks at rabbits anymore. Since I can't cook the meat. But let's just see if I can. God, I'm so bad at that.
Let's Oh, but I'm so hungry. Oh wait, I have beef jerky. Yeah. Okay, so I'm fine. Shelter. I got turned around. I am not good at surviving. Okay. So let's go this way. Hey, there's a whole mess of rabbits. We call that a target rich environment. God, I'm rubbish. Okay. She came through here. She left the beef jerky. So I think I go up through this way. Would be where I would go. And I'm... Ah! <laughs> so bad at killing rabbit. Hunting rabbits with an elephant gun. Must be a way to get up there. Can I climb? Yes. What a revelatory invention. I guess I can eat this now. And that'll make me weigh a little less. Burden, but that's okay because most of it is firewood and I can just throw it into a fire. R really, thank you. Crouching under stuff. Found a cave. Light source is pretty. You may need to improve it. Flare for a one-off light source. Lanterns last longer, but use of oil, darkness hides dangers, and prevents you from crafting, repairing. Yeah. I don't. What do you mean? Blueprints unlocked torch. It. It made me. I used the torch earlier. Okay, let's um, let's not die to wolves. Fire 
people's life out here. Oh, hello, dead person. heals me and saves my progress. Fantastic. want to leave the cave necessarily oh, no, I'm sure I'm sure it had that progress in there no 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 I just lost myself oh no they're there okay okay good yes the fire is still uh, torch ruined Let's see what nonsense is in this cave. Maybe I'll find a diamond deposit. Find the way progress. Ooh, hello. I found a bunch of survival gear from someone who's way more dead than I am. Pyramid head will be in here. And I will die a peasant's death. Is this okay? Yeah, so I got the. So I did get to the other side of the cave. Cool. I'm gonna go back in that cave and get my socks back. So I put like three hours worth of fuel in that fire. Ooh. 
Is that my stomach or a wolf? Thank you. Oh god. I meant to use the torch. Oh well. Um. There we go. Onward to Christmas Adventure! Okay. 
better for me in the long run. Oh, hello! I'm gonna have to leave something behind. How did I find my way out of this cave before? Blind luck. Yeah, it was entirely blind luck. Okay, this is where I built the fire. So we go in this way. I really don't want to... No, don't extinguish the thing. If anything, do the opposite. Put more torch. More torch into the torch. Okay. What? So much water. I don't. I don't care. I don't care enough right now. And that's crazy that I don't care about that much bottled water. probably would have actually been smart. I haven't looked at it, but it's probably smarter to have a bunch of bottled water than a bunch of like the potted water that I have. Oh shit. Too windy to light torch. Oh, is the wind that wolves are not dogs? Oh, okay. I really need a windshield. With wolves, please. You know what? I'm just gonna go back. Go back to the cave. The cave is safety. There's a throw option now. Okay. Uh, is that my only fuel? Really? That is my... Oh god, it's burning. Oh god. Oh god. Estimated fire duration is not a thing. Um. Do we know what time it is? Send me like this Christmas music. I was, 
I did not come this far into the cave, did I? Okay, good. Okay, Dom, that's what I want. That is what I want. Uh, that's a, um, that's a wolf, and I really want his meat, but he will kill me because he's a wolf and I am a human being. So, a wide berth it is. How wide of a berth can I even give him? doesn't seem to want to fuck with me. Oh good, I can go up here. I don't have to I don't have to deal with him at all. Fantastic. I really wish I could have hit a rabbit. good at video games. I would have. Okay. I have burned. The road. Great. I'm not as lost as I thought. Oh no. I recognize this road from when I played when it was in beta. This is the road that I would die on every time. Because I thought I was near and I wasn't. Is there anything in here? Apparently not. Nobody left anything in their cars? God damn. Oh wait, I think I might have seen something like that. Yeah, granola bar! Actually, I should have just... Print. I can burn that. Oh. 
two identical blue trucks. I'm gonna need to eat soon. I just ate a granola bar. Oh god. Oh god. I can't even light a torch, it's too windy. I don't care how hungry I am, I'm not being that wolf's dinner. That's the opposite of eating. Can't feel my feet. Okay. I wish I had a gun. That would be amazing. You can fuck right off, wolf. Okay, maybe he didn't see me. Maybe he's just like patrolling. Get into this car. Oh God. Fuck off. Jesus. Oh, lordy. Oh, it's okay. I got a great soda. <laughs> okay, um, I don't have any band aids. Bleeding. That's okay. Damn it. Didn't do anything. It's a wolf bite. This is garbage. Okay, whatever. Um, let's just, uh, that's a stump. Are those mushrooms a thing? Yay. Okay, so that's fine. I hope I didn't get turned around on this road. Because that will mean I'm walking back towards the wolf. But I don't think I am. Am I? I have no idea. Here's a fucking enclave where I can go starve to death. God. You know what? I'm done. I'm done. Playing things cautiously and smart. I need anything right about now. I'll eat that wolf. Oh, wow. Okay, 
you know what? Oh, what? no weapons in inventory. What's that? What's my... What's my spike thing? Yeah, it does make a good improvised knife. Let me equip it and use it as an improvised knife to kill that wolf. Oh, wait, he left. He just left on his own. Oh. Four percent. <sighs> hey, wolf. Hey, wolf. Gonna kill that rabbit. Gonna kill that rabbit and then stand real still. This guy's thumb is useless for aiming. I deserve that. That's fine. is concentration or remember me but with chocolate so I figured the only use I'm gonna get out of it is on this stream I will figure out how to throw rocks eventually. Okay. Let's see how this works. Oh wow, they're they're smaller things than I expected them to be. How does this It legitimately doesn't have any instructions. How are you supposed to play Remember Me with chocolates and cards? Are you just supposed to put them face down? And then mac them to... I think you're supposed to play them face down and match them to the thing. Here we go. Place all the cards and the chocolates on the table face down. Make sure they have been shuffled properly so you no longer know where the matching pictures are. Decide who begins first. The person may turn a card and then a chocolate. If the picture on the card and the chocolate do not match, then both have to be placed face down again. Right, it's concentration. In the game, you may eat one. At the end of the game, you may eat one of the chocolates you have won. You will need the rest of the chocolates to play again. Once you have eaten all the chocolates, you can use the spare cards to keep on playing. That's bullshit. I'm going to eat all the chocolate. And I'm going to attempt a setup. Let's see. Can I get this? Let's just switch this to...
Wait, 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 wait. I, I, I had the thing to see if it would work. Oh, it's already facing down. Yeah. Okay. Let's Let's move this back a bit. Oh yeah, I can go back a bit. Oh god. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. I think I'm gonna switch the audio though. Oh, I have to be capturing my... Okay. Okay. Is all the audio working now? Is that an improvement? most, if not all, of our cunning. So, this is just concentration. I'm sure everybody knows the rules. And that was Trevor. Uh, so, I'm gonna pick a, I'm gonna pick a card and a chocolate because the cards only will match the chocolate. So picking two of them would be foolish and then the stream gets to pick or rather the twitch chat gets to pick a card and a chocolate and we're gonna see who wins me an intellectual or you the viewers so let's go with a this is a1 this will be B1, C1, D1. Actually, wait, is that upside down for you guys? Yeah, okay, that'll be... This will be... A, B, C, D, E. This will be E1. This will be A1. And it'll be the same for the grid of chocolates. So it'll be A1, A, uh, B2. A1, B1, C1, D1, E1, A2. And that will be how it goes. Is that understood? I don't care. I'm terrible at this and all other games. Does that show up clear as to who it is? There. Yorgo the stream. chocolate grid? You can just be like A2, A2, or whatever. A1. Oh, you got, you got spike and rarity. Because you're losers and not nearly as good at this game as I am.
we're going to stream. Your turn, your turn, chat. And 
and the gay one. Earth ponies are not the best. They are objectively not the best. <laughs> D1. D. Oh, God. It's the dragon. Yep. Yep. That's two points for Twitch chat. No points for me. I really should have rigged this game somehow. Oh, it is a pink horse. Chat's turn. E1. Mr. Hoofs. These horses can't be doctors. is gone. There's A, B, C, D. That was D4. Chat's turn. B2. 
B4. The nameless drone of the machine. Sentry? No, I think Flash Sentry, he looks different because he's got the blue hair. Because he has blue hair and as a human, he's like orange with blue hair. Chats go. from when Rainbow Dash was shown in the chocolates? Is that what's happening? (laughs) 
Oh, E3, B3. Oh, it's Rainbow Dash and the Chicken. Chat's turn. turn. for a second to blow my nose before I make this already miserable experience even more unpleasant. So I'll be back. Achieved enlightenment. I no longer care for the outcome of this game or any other material things. All I care about are dank memes.
cat choice. If I wanted to cheat off camera, it would have been during the game setup and I'd be doing much better. Me too. God, that's what I was looking for. better at this game. Kiku. Better than me? Think you're better than me at children's games? Mini games from Super Mario Brothers 3? Fuck you, Toad. Hoarding all your items? I'm trying to save your princess. Give me that shit. I'm not an alcoholic. God. Um. The teacher horse. Ah! <laughs> ah, why did I have to reveal him? That's fine. Did you see who he is? He's back there now. You go straight to hell. Using that name. <laughs> D1C3. Wow, what a... Oh! That's not C. You got Shreked. You got Shreked, son. Ha-ha! 
and the good doctor has been consumed by the bad wizard. It's, it's Articusis 553. We're playing Concentration Stream Edition. B3A2. B3A2. That is the teaching horse. I don't know what you're talking about. There's no, there's no, there's no titties. This is a wholesome Christmas stream about spending time with friends and surviving in the harsh Canadian winter. You're sounding ridiculous. Pick coordinates. Um. I guess at this point, this is A, B, C, D. And this is A, B, C, D. Actually, let's just, let's just condense these. Um, there. There we go. Just blatant disrespect for the game as a whole. A, B, C, one, two, middle pick. You just name it the middle pick. They said, don't, don't be ridiculous. I would never, I would never do anything that would throw off the people playing against me in a game of childish skill. I'm not that insecure. I'm not an alcoholic or a shoplifter. These accusations are unfounded. On stream chat. Hit me with some coordinates. Pick some cards. Name some dates. Cite me some historical battles of the Civil War. And find horses. I really pity anyone who actually came here for like long dark footage. Name one! Name one! Uh, pretty much all the ones that we've actually had flipped over... Yeah, but pretty much all the ones we've flipped over multiple times are gone. That just makes it more fun! Look, watch. Okay, fine. I have legitimately no idea where any of them are anymore. A, B, C, one, two, three, going that way. B, two, B, two.
Fast horse. Yellow horse. Twitch chat. I sh I I've actually thought about doing a uh, a Twitch plays Dominions Let's Play Dominions type of stream. In the new year. Just being like, hey, who wants to communally play a game of Dominions 5? <laughs> oh, no, I, I have no reason not to. I just haven't done it yet. Fine, I will. I will. You... You? <laughs> I'll have to play a non-free spawn nation because madness, but I can I can do that. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily describe playing con My Little Pony Concentration instead of having a job, being good with my life, um, but I appreciate it. Give me coordinates, you smug son of a bitch. who aren't saving the world from Rimtrasar. I'm, I'm alive on nothing but hot chocolate, this chocolate, and residual booze. Coordinates in that chat. I need to check to see if someone is killing my brother. C1 Cheating ways will go unpunished. I I would be very impressed if I walked in on loud sex 
When Trevor is upstairs alone, that would be... I mean, I guess a home invader. Santa! We're down to five. C1, C1. Hey! You did it! Um. Why did I flip him? I mean, that is why you're watching this stream. <laughs> Human misery! Oh, that's a good point. One, two, three, four, and then again, one, two, three, four. sense. Whatever, let's go with it. It's all guesses at this point. Two, three! That is not a match. Listening to you, I just did it. I did it on my own. With my own. Is 3 2 your current guess? Or are you taking that free flutter shot? <laughs> Garbage at everything. Can we zoom? No. Three, two. <laughs> A 
Hey! And the final score, since you're gonna pick the last two that are there, Versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I managed to successfully beat people in a game of very minor skill by a narrow margin. While manipulating the rules. <laughs> Truly, this is a great day for Hitler in Germany. I am going to reconfigure the Christmas tree and be back.
someday, someday that little girl is going to grow up and she's going to find out she's a part of this and she's going to disown her parents. Christmas sucks and I hate it. I actually hate Christmas. That's why I do this. Uh, it's a bullshit time when you're expected to give a bunch of presents to people that you don't want to and see them instead of seeing your actual friends who you see the rest of the year. Um, not a fan. Not a fan of it at all. So, that's why I like to do this stream because if anyone isn't busy with Christmas, or their plans fell through where they have nothing to do on Christmas because everyone else is away seeing their family and whatnot. They can always just tune into Necromage TV where I will be either drunk or hungover. Um, probably eating candy. And just generally subverting the entire purpose of this false Christian pseudo-pagan festival bullshit. In order to further myself and my own ego, identity, and image. And I appreciate you joining me for that. Oh, that is boiling hot. Why did I do that? I'm going to be calling the stream to a close now. I got eaten by a wolf. I fell off a cliff. I won at a children's matching game. What else can you really ask for for Christmas morning? I'm going to continue doing this in this game for several hours uh, in order to whittle it with my saliva into a shiv. And then I'm going to go at that goblin because I just realized that in my plan to create an entertainment extravaganza for Christmas to prevent him from blowing the Gallerhorn, he doesn't have much reason not to now, so I'm gonna go deal with that. Thank you all for joining me this one this wonderful 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 very stressful very slapdash haphazard poorly planned poorly implemented christmas stream i hope it will turn out to be the worst one i ever do um much like wrestlemania 2 that's what I want for this stream. I want this stream to be the WrestleMania 2 of my Christmas streams. But I'm calling it to an end. There's the ten bomb. I've I greatly appreciate you all, you're all beautiful people. The people who are watching this after the stream, especially. Um, I will have a vlog of this going on YouTube. Um, and if you're watching that, I appreciate you just as much. Uh, I hope you had a wonderful Christmas day.
whether you were here now or doing something else and joining me later. Because the most important thing to remember about Christmas or any other holiday or any other just day is that I am the best at everything.